I know you have the right girlfriend when she don't care what car you drive. God damn! You win! So how would you cater to me? If you were my husband. When I'm your husband. Every way possible. There wouldn't be a second that I wouldn't cater to you. I'd be fat as f You would be. <laughs> you could wake up at three in the morning and ask me to make you food and I will get out of bed and I will make you food. There is nothing I wouldn't do because you are my partner and I am the woman. I wouldn't ask you to clean. I wouldn't ask you to cook. I wouldn't ask you for anything domesticated because that is my part as a woman, me personally, how I believe before anyone starts sending. Which would mean my part would be for you? To provide and protect. I love you it. provide, you look after the household, you make sure I'm safe always, you make sure the children are safe always, and I will make sure you're, you don't have to worry about anything else. You! You win. Women is obligated to have sex with their man oh, whenever he feels like it. Absolutely not. No. Okay. And why? <laughs> Obligation. Um, no. you know, if you don't feel like doing it with them, you shouldn't have to feel mm -hmm. like you have to. I don't feel like paying the bills this month. <laughs> oh, what's going on here then? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> so, so you see, it goes off <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> so you think about it, right? So a woman's main agency is her sexuality, right? A man gets into a relationship mm -hmm. expecting sex, and you expect him to be monogamous, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you expect a monogamous relationship, then how is it a fair deal? Like, the man, his main <clears throat> agency is protecting and providing, right? Mm -hmm. So if I don't want to pay the bills, you like, wait, what? Oh, babe, I don't want to have sex. Wait, what? This is what we signed mm -hmm. up for, for me to protect and provide for you, and for you to, whenever I feel like it. You lose. I kiss my woman on the forehead while she's sleeping before I leave to work every morning. And the one day I rushed out the house running late without doing so, I get a, te I get a text saying, I guess love don't live here no more. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Bro women are spiteful. <laughs> you lose. Yeah, let me know which one you would choose if you were, if you were a man looking for a wife long term. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. For y'all out there to get mad at us for sitting up here talking about relationships and shit like that. The only reason why we talk about this shit because guess what? 90, guess what? The statistics say that goddamn 75% of women watch podcasts to only hear about relationships conversation. Mm. Mm. If you think we want to talk about that shit, we really don't. We don't give a fuck about that shit. Cause guess what? But guess what? Y'all so damn stupid that y'all got three to sometimes four in the beginning, only two giving y'all the full game of how men talk, and y'all can't even accept that shit. Oh, y'all get yeah. mad because we're be telling y'all the truth, man. Look, look, you look for the first time in human history because y'all been confused about. Forever, y'all got so many different platforms that's willing to tell y'all the truth about men. Mm -hmm. And then when y'all do get it, you get upset when you hear the truth. See, that's what's wrong with y'all now. Look here, we ain't trying to change y'all. We ain't yeah. trying to goddamn look. Y'all is emotional. Y'all is fucking uh, uh, what is it, caring? And we ain't complaining. We don't care because we know that's how y'all live. But when y'all get male podcasts telling y'all how men is, y'all got a problem with that. Y'all got a problem with what they say to this and that. Okay, I just wanted to say that, get it off my chest. Hey, they been bashing us forever, so yeah, I don't man. give a fuck. Man, we bad speakers, fuck though. Bad speakers, man. We, we yeah, going to say what we, how it is, man. Respect it. Yeah, and I just wanted to say that, man, because we, I, I really, I, mean, I can say this for me, really don't give a shit about talking about shit that y'all really don't need to know the game on. Right. We do it because guess what? YouTube and other platforms tells us that guess what? Women stay watching when it's some shit that they into. Y'all don't give a fuck about sports or hip hop or none of this other shit. Y'all don't. Hold on, don't leave out. Nick, I don't have it that to get mad about us giving this game out right yeah. now. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? 
I say, man, see, that was wrong with y'all, man. Y'all should have been telling me. Y'all should have been telling me. Man, I'm, I can show you right now. Three to, mm, probably 30 to 40 motherfucking niggas since we started this shit. Man, that was wrong with y'all, lame, man. Man, telling me the business and shit, bro. Yeah. Y'all <laughs> still feel talk about the yeah. business to these bitches. And then, then on the other end, we get y'all get mad at us for telling y'all how men really fucking is. Hey, man, only man... That'll get mad at another man for giving women free game is a man never had no game. Women in the first place. Hey, yo, these are facts, man. Cause I've had I've had men come at me saying the same thing. Uh I see them in the comments every once in a blue moon. Um uh, and another thing too. Women need to understand that men are logical creatures. We don't say things to coddle your feelings the same way a guy like a Steve Harvey, Ace Metaphor, and these other guys that pander to y'all. Oh, yeah, Chris Perry, soft ass. The dude that had Tia um, Maori on his show. Yeah, we're not those guys because those guys aren't telling you how men really think. They're telling y'all what y'all want to hear so that way they can monetize y'all feelings. Now, as far as, but back to the guys, man, y'all really got to stop doing that. And dude at the end said something that really hit, though. Because if you guys really did have the kind of game that y'all say y'all did, y'all would not get mad at men for giving this game to women. The reason why men do, the re, one of the reasons why we do this is so that women have a better understanding of how men think. Because... Women seem to be a little bit confused and a part of it is because of the brainwashing and programming that they were raised up and brought up in. So under, giving them the game and understanding how men think is just a way to try to break that so that way we can come together because I recently just watched a video on Manosphere Highlights Daily where Sidney Watson was talking about red pillars and guys like Andrew Tate and she seems to be under the impression that this kind of content, not saying that everybody is legit, but she seems to be under the impression that this is driving a wedge between both genders. Kind of like how that female detractor that I had back, back what, a couple months ago, give or take. It's not about that. It's about women giving, letting them know how men think so that way we can meet in the middle. But the problem is, honestly, majority of these women don't want to meet in the middle. I'm like, why do you think that stat about a stat about half of them being single by 2030 is starting to rear its ugly head? It's starting to look more and more true. And if you don't think so, I'm gonna show you two more clips, foreign women versus Western women. And you and you let me know if if it's just us. Check this out. If you have to convince a sister, a woman, that you are a good option, that you're her best option, right? By jumping through hoops, by proving yourself, by buying her stuff, by telling her what she wants to hear, she's not the one for you. Mm. That's what I tell my sons. Why do I say that? Because she clearly does not see you as her best option, right? She thinks you're just one of many, or maybe you're okay, but maybe another better one is coming, right? Yep. Now, if you finally convince her to marry you, what is gonna happen in that relationship? What's gonna be the power dynamic yeah, in that relationship? I, yep. You've basically signed up for a life of her on a pedestal and you working overtime to please her. And sisters, unfortunately, hate it when I talk about this, right? Because this is the model we've been presented by society. Yeah. A man's job is to please you. A man's job is to make sure you are happy. A man's job is to cater to you, etc. Yeah. And the reality is, certainly as far as the deen is concerned, it's actually opposite. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallam, have taught us as women the importance of pleasing our husbands, of catering to our husbands, of looking after our you. husbands. I expect a man to pay for the date. Yes, the whole entire date. That includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to my house. 
if you are a man that I'm interested in, I want to see that you can provide for me. I want to see that you can afford an Uber ride. I want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date. Like, can you afford basic things? Because if you can't afford dinner in an Uber by transportation, you certainly can't afford kids. You certainly can't afford a house. You certainly can't afford my bills. And I got bills to pay, okay? There's nothing wrong with a woman aspiring to have a husband who can provide for her and her future children. My question to this woman is, are you prepared to treat the man you're on a date with like your husband in that you're already gonna be cooking for him and cleaning for him? No? Well then simultaneously, how can you expect this man who you are not wife to, to already be paying for everything? Look, it's nice if a man wants to pay for a date, but the idea that it should be a necessity and that if he doesn't, then he's just not worth it, that's toxic. You lose. Now I wanna end this by saying this because I know some people are gonna be like, well, if you're not trying to throw a wedge in between the genders, why come you're showing foreign women versus Western women? The difference in mindset, that's why. So that way the women here have a better understanding of why men are leaving. They, because they have, they seem to have this impression that foreign women are weak, uneducated, and all this other bullshit that they try to throw out there to try to shame men from going to these other countries. But in reality, the reason why these men go to these other countries, as far as the women concerned, is because they have a more of a traditional mindset, whether they're working or not. So I don't want to hear that bullshit about, oh, these women don't work and these women. Look, at the end of the day, these women have figured out a way to still maintain those traditional values even still while having their own career, having their own job, having their own businesses. I literally just went over this in the video that Anton was talking about because he works with foreign women and some of them make more than their husbands and they still cater and submit to their husbands. So with that being said, why would a man take a, a bad deal in the United States when he can work remotely or save his money money up, pension, whatever the case may be, and go to another country and find a woman to get on his program. Because y'all clearly are having an issue with this in the West. And men are tired. That's why they're either becoming passport bros or they're checking out completely. Or honestly, they're just becoming bachelors because unlike the women, unlike these foreign women, y'all are not offering what, what the foreign women are offering. Y'all need to understand, a man choosing a woman to spend the rest of his life with is the most important decision he will ever make in his life. So I'd be damned if I'm gonna sit over here and, and, and not show these guys the truth so that way they can make the best decision for themselves. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Colombian Soul Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any other merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.